Hey everyone, it's the Honey Badger here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Chewy Hi13 2-in-1 tablet PC. Let's find out what this monstrously sized tablet can do. Today's video is brought to you by FanFit Gaming. Check out the interview I did with them a couple weeks ago, or check out their sweet merch store with their awesome Overwatch neon lights. I have one, they're pretty sweet. Links are in the description as well. Let's kick it off with some specs so we know what powers such a machine. So inside is a CPU. It's an Intel Apollo Lake Celeron N3450 quad core at 1.1 gigahertz, but it does boost up to 2.2. The GPU inside obviously is internal HD graphics, it's ninth generation from Intel. For memory inside, there's four gigabytes of DDR3, but my machine says it only has 3.4 gigabytes that are usable, so kinda unfortunate that that seems to be the case. For internal storage, it comes with 64 gigabytes built in internally, but there is expansion through memory cards. For our connectivity, we have dual band Wi-Fi, 802.11a, b, g, n, and ac, which is nice to see. And then we also have Bluetooth connectivity as well. Powering the device is a 10,000 milliamp hour battery. Just to give you an example, my brand new S8 Plus has 3,500, so it's got a big battery in this thing. Fully charging it takes about three to four hours, and it says that you can get about eight hours of use time out of it, and I easily believe that because I had never had mine die on me while I was using it ever, and at certain points it was saying it could get over 10 hours of battery life, so if you stretched it, I think you easily could get a full day out of it. It has dual cameras, a two megapixel one on the front and a five megapixel camera on the rear of the device. The display on the screen is a 10-point touchscreen at 13.5 inches. It's also an IPS display. It's also at the resolution of 3000 by 2000, which is basically 3K resolution. It's 1024 level pressure sensitive for styluses, which is really kind of cool if you want to use a stylus on this device. And it also has four speakers around the corners of the machine. For connectivity on the side of it, we have a headphone jack, a micro HDMI slot, a micro USB slot, a USB type C port, and a micro SD card slot as well. As for the things I like about this device, the screen quality and brightness for movies, games, just general use is really, really good. The IPS screen is legitly nice. And that's how IPS screens are. They have great color representation. They have good black levels. They just, they're, they're the best screens pretty much. So the quality of the screen is, uh, it's just awesome in a tablet. So that's good to see. The portability also is really good. Despite it being fairly large, um, for the most part, it's really easy to bring around with you. If you like want to put it in your backpack, it's really slim. It's not going to take up much space. So that's one thing I do also like. Um, on tab that's what tablets do really well too. Portability, it's, it's up there. Another big positive the battery life it's got a big battery in it and so it gets pretty good life you're not really gonna just kill the battery and have a terrible time with it so um that's just once again a thing that you always want you always want decent battery life and it has that it has full windows 10 so you don't really have to worry about something not being supported so if you can dream up a game that can play on a touch screen or if you want to connect some devices to this you can do that and you can probably play just about anything at least as long as the device itself can run it and and then the speakers, there are four of them on this instead of just maybe one or two like most other tablets. It has four around the edges, around on the whole thing. So you have some actual decent quality when it comes to the speakers. They're not amazing. They don't get crazy loud, but they're they're pretty good and there's there's more than you would typically find on, a, on other tablets. So another nice thing. And another side thing I did really like um, that I didn't notice right away is that it actually has a little screen protector that's, that seemed to have come on it. So um, it's kind of protected out of the box. You don't even have to like put a screen protector on it if you don't want because it's already got one. So that's a nice thing. Unfortunately, there were a few things I also didn't care for. The bezels on it are a little bit too big in my opinion. Now, I know you need some bezel on a device, but the side ones are just a little bit too big in my opinion. You could have saved some real estate and you could actually made the device a little bit smaller and it would have made the screen look even bigger and it would have just helped with portability even more. The performance also, just lacking a little bit, both in the RAM and CPU department. Um, I don't know if it's because of the resolution just in general is causing this machine to be slightly slower, but as you use it, there's just small latency issues or just things feel like they're not as fluid as they could be with a slightly more powerful processor. And I know that that gives it better battery life and that you usually won't need a, a ton, but if you're trying to do any kind of heavy workload or really certain games, um, you're gonna have a, a, a little bit of a problem. It's not really meant to do crazy gaming or anything, but 
but it could just use some more powers. I also really think it would do a lot better if it had some kind of a stand so you could have like a kickstand on the back to set it up a lot easier. Um, I know that my Surface has that, which I really love. It's one of the nicest features I like on a tablet to have that. Um, you can get a plug-in keyboard that they do make for this specifically, so it's more of a laptop. Um, it'd be nice if they just include that out of the box and they just, you know, add it a little bit to the price. Make sure you pick one of those up if you're getting this thing because I think it really would benefit having that keyboard. And also, it would be nice if the device itself came with one normal, and I know it's not the thickest, but one normal USB plug-in that we're used to. I know that we're moving towards future ports and USB Type-C is great, but if I want to plug a mouse into this just to use a mouse without having to do a wireless Bluetooth one, um, that would be kind of nice, but there's no USB port, so I can't really do that at the moment, and that's not great. Oh, one other little side thing I didn't care for is the plug-in that it came with for the charger for me was a European charger, and that does not work well in North America. But for the most part, that's it. If you're looking to play some games on this, you will be able to do so, but you definitely have to down-res the games quite a bit because 3000 by 2000 looks amazing for everything except for when you're trying to game. That resolution is just way too high for something that has this type of power delivery inside of it. So you got to down res your games and then you'll be fine. I played things like um, uh, Darkest Dungeon, Hearthstone, The Walking Dead. I did a few other games too, but nothing's going to really play amazingly amazing on it. Um, you just got to really down res the games and turn them on to low and you'll be able to play probably a handful of stuff. But the big thing is those games you're really going to need like a mouse keyboard and this is just just touch input only so since you don't have thumbsticks or anything like that um, you'll have a little bit harder time playing certain games unless you have those um, other things plugged into it so just a little thing to note if you're looking to do gaming but if you're looking for a, a portable device that has uh, internet access obviously you do browsing the web really easily since it's got a big screen and you want to watch movies like maybe on flights and stuff the big screen is really nice for that and it does get great battery life so traveling and on the go something that can do those things seems like it would work out quite nicely if this video was informative if you could leave a like that would be greatly appreciated and if you wanted to subscribe too that is also greatly appreciated be sure to follow me up on social media and check out the links in the description but other than that i want to thank you guys for watching and i'll see all of you in the next video